97.9 The Box, Radio Boss, Horror by the Kiati. Special guest checking in tonight, the homie Cal, boy. Yo, 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 what's the word? How you feeling, little brother? Man, got a little cold, but I'm straight. You're going to be good, man. That Texas yeah. heat going to make you sweat that thing out, man. Yeah, for sure. Man, it, this uh, this game been pretty good, man. I had the pleasure of learning about you from my barber. My barber named Forty. He from Chicago. I just I just hollered at Forty like right before we got here. He in Cali. He, he in like Cali. That. Yeah, he did uh, hollered at bro last night. Yeah. Look, that's him calling me right now. What? <laughs> this your first time in Houston? Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. First yeah. time in Houston. That way we gotta we gotta be sure we we, we first we gotta take you to go eat, man. We got some live ass food down here. What's the best spots? It, what kind of food you like to eat? All type. I ain't gonna lie. I like soul food. Soul food, seafood, yeah. jerk. Okay, like the like the Jamaican, like yeah. The, a lot okay, of that. okay, man. You you look like you work. You be working out? Nah, not really. A little bit. Yeah, uh, not, not too really. much. Right. But you, but you you nineteen? Yeah, nineteen. I'll be twenty tomorrow. Oh, your birthday tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Come on now, happy uh, early birthday. Yeah, appreciate it, big bro. You see, you, I'm going to keep a G with you. You ain't going to care about working out till you get by like 25 and then you're going to be like, exactly. you know what, let me, fat or something. It's, instead of you just doing it right now, that's just funny. That's how we are, bro. 19, you just think about hitting the studio and making getting, these hit records. Getting high. How long you been fooling with this music, man? <laughs> uh, probably since I was like 19, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Actually into music. Making beats on FL, recording myself, all that. Oh, so make you producing too? Yeah, yeah, I make beats now. How much we selling beats for? Look, everybody <laughs> listening, what we selling them beats I, for? Man? I ain't sold none. I just use them for myself. I make a beat and record right, right there on the spot. You know that. You know that's why on the cool, a lot of time it'd be hard to get the good beats from producers because they'd be like, "Ooh, I'm keeping this." One. <laughs> all right, Ooh, for got sure. that heat. That's what I'm saying. I don't even think I want to sell my beats because I like them all. You feel me? That's that's a that, hey, that's an entrepreneur move. Like yeah, I'm gonna keep the costs low, uh, yeah. just make them. Yeah, for sure. Who was the first uh, producer that showed you some love? Ah, oh, my hometown uh, producer, um, Pressure, Pressure okay. Finesse. He from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first started making music, it was Pressure and it was J Bands. You know what I'm saying? J stayed <coughs> right down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? So I grew up with him. Okay. We started making my first couple of hits. Then I uh, went down to 35th and met up with Pressure. I've been cooking up with them too since I started making music. Whenever you first started, was your city with you? Or it was something that they kind of, you you know, after you start popping, then they... You know, you get mixed emotions when it comes to that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people support. Some people, you feel me, turn their nose up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you get to popping. You get to popping, and then everybody like, I knew it. You feel That's my boy, man. Yeah. I knew I told him he was going to make Yeah, you know how that go. That, why do you think people like that, man? Man, I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, you, niggas don't get no type of tokens for saying I'm their boy, so I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't know. Why do you think it's so hard for people to be real and just do real stuff? Because to me, that's normal. Like... Whenever we first met, I reached out to you and your manager and was like, hey, bro, you hard. Like, yeah, for sure. You come to Houston, let, let's put it together. I want to yeah. try to take you to a school or something. Yeah, yeah, you hit me uh, a minute ago about that. I mean, I don't know. It's it's simple for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I keep it a buck all the time. It's regular. You know what I'm saying? I just think everybody should be regular. Just keep it a buck all the time. So for us, Envy Me probably was the first song that we heard out this way, but I'm sure that wasn't like the first song. Like, what was your first record that you made that you really was like, this is gonna be the one? Man, every one of them. All of them. Everything <laughs> I touch, big fella. We right. Put I mean, pressure. I mean, if they go do their research and listen to the back catalog, they agree with me too. You know what I'm saying? I've been going crazy since my first project. You know what I'm saying? I just think when you had the right leverage, when you mm. had the right push. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I started to progress and grow a little bit, mm -hmm. we started learning the business. And by that time, we had Envy Me, and you feel me? We we locked in with that one. That business is important, especially for young upcoming artists, just having your team together, your circle together. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm I was just doing a speech in, the, in a, a tour bus like 20 minutes ago with my whole team in the back, like making sure we on top of our business, you know what I'm saying, locked in at all times. That's important, man. I think uh, a lot of time the uh, value of having a team that's on your same page gets overlooked because at the end of the day, it's about bringing your vision yeah. to life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's like 
with anything you do. Like if your your foundation ain't right, if your team ain't right, it ain't nothing gonna gonna go how you planned it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have those those strong individuals in your corner. You can't do it by yourself. Not in this game. You can't do it. Like it's a lot that. going on in this game. It's you gotta a lot. have a you know few eyes watching a few different things. For sure. Um, as a young artist in the game, uh, five years from now, we're going to look back at this interview and laugh because I just always, I love building a relationship with upcoming artists, with new artists. So to you, what is it about, man? Like right now, even though, you know, people are, are learning you for your music, what what is it about with you? Like if you could tell Houston something about you as an artist right now, what would you tell Houston about you as a person? I'm an artist at heart. Okay. That's what they got to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, Make music for the for the bread. I don't do it for the fame. You feel me? I do it cause it's like in my soul to do it. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like it's it's therapeutic for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and not only that, I'm an artist in all other aspects. I paint, I sketch. You feel me? I okay. write. I'm writing a book right now. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot of different. You feel me? It's situations live. going on as far as like art. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a artistic individual you know super saying? creative i'm creative too at school yeah. i used to get in trouble for drifting off like they'll be talking about <laughs> i'll be like well, how am i gonna make this money yeah. you know what i'm saying like just as people when, <coughs> your birthday being tomorrow what is that aries yeah i'm an aries but what what are some characteristics of aries i don't i don't really follow much of the you know i don't follow it either at all you know what i'm saying at but all. just you we, just we know what i how, am how much it match up <laughs> you as a person what are some characteristics of you man I work hard. Okay. Hard you know work. what I'm saying? I smoke a lot. Okay. Big, big blunts. <laughs> Got you. Uh, you feel me? I love hard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that I, I, I noticed about Aries. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't follow that, a lot of a lot of Aries like, like that I know kind of like be emotional. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like just, they show their emotions a little more than, than the average person. So I literally just jumped online and looked up Aries male characteristics. I don't look at none of this stuff. I've never done this in the interview ever. Right. We're going to see how raw, how true this is. Okay, let me see. Uh, an Aries male can be aggressive. Yeah, definitely super aggressive. Okay, that's true. That's true. He's a man's man. The He's leader. admired by women and men alike mm -hmm. and gets along with other men until he's challenged. Mm -hmm. that's, that's factual. I ain't like, gonna oh, lie. I'm an Aries. Aries. <laughs> um, That's definitely factual. He's competitive. Definitely competitive. And sports, you play sports? I be hooping sometimes. You, be, you, know oh, what man, I'm saying? you don't want that work. Okay. Man, we can go there. Look, it, it works. <laughs> you want it right now? We can we, go there. We're we, we, we gonna set up trash can basketball before we leave and see who hit real quick. <laughs> I was um, never good at that. He says, he has difficulty finding an ideal mate. Are you single? <laughs> Don't put me on. It's blind, complicated. Bro. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> he's 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 a romantic. <coughs> Are you a romantic brother? I would say so. Okay, I would say so. A little bit. Oh boy, the Aries is freaky. Okay, y'all. Oh uh, nah. <laughs> boy coming through with the candles and the and the chocolate. Okay. No, no, nah, nah, we ain't going to that. Y'all ain't going all that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I may care a little more than you feel me phone them would. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. All. Okay, so so it, it seemed like it was it was it was pretty. Yeah, it was almost on point. Almost on point. They but forgot I the hard really, work. I don't really be following. The yeah, no, me neither at all. I just think it's funny a lot of time. You know, yeah. I feel like we break stereotypes a lot too. Right. You know, like, you you gotta you gotta do. Humans what you gotta do. are humans. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. So I right. I don't go by none of that. Whenever this is um said and done, whenever we look back at. Cowboy, ten years from now. Ten years. Well, we we gonna be in movies. We gonna own us a sports franchise. We are gonna have some businesses. I'll probably be on my my third book by then. Something oh, big like that. books. Okay, big books. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get into film right now. You know what I'm saying? I write little scripts and then I'm trying to drift over into the acting a little bit too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do everything. So, ten years from now, I should be looked at like. A young Will Smith or something. Come on, young you Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, young Will. If you could redo any classic black film, what film would you go back and redo? Uh, classic black film. 
Let me say, let me say hood film. Hood film. If you go uh, do any hood film, what would you do and which role would you be? Man, 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 there's so many of them, bro. I love so many hood films. It'd probably be Friday, though. Oh, what character would you be in Friday? <laughs> uh, dang, what character would I be in Friday? I know what character bro would be in Friday. <laughs> what character? <laughs> Ezel, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just play. I, hey, I, I, I probably, I probably, I don't know. I probably couldn't fit none of them. I don't know. You have to write in a new role, right? I had to add in. You feel okay. me? I'll be the third one on the porch. <laughs> yeah, me. You'll be the one. That's, what he, what all he doing is rolling up the whole movie. No phone. I'm not saying too much. Okay, rolling for up sure. With Smokey, explain to us how you got this uh, situation, and it's crazy. Literally, we were just texting like a few weeks ago, and right. then out of nowhere, boom, cowboy with dream chasers. I was like, "What?" <laughs> I just talked. That's how did how did that situation come about, man? Ah, uh, shout my brother D Nash. You know what I'm saying? D Nash is 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 is, is a leader from Chicago. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, what should I call him? A activist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A motivator, you know what I'm saying? He one of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he kind of like, he hit me on the on the low, you know what I'm saying? It was like, bro, I really believe in you, you know what I'm saying? I love what you're doing. Right. Personally, I'm working on a few connect the dot situations for you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just to bring some more stuff to the table for you, you know what I'm saying? And one of those was uh, the Dream Chasers thing, you know mm. what I'm saying? Me had already been posting me on social media, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's his favorite song or whatever, you know, stuff like that. I end up, you know, meeting with them, chopping it up with them, and I kind of like their vibe, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it was, it's cool. So uh, we got into a partnership with the management, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying there's an artist over there, nothing like that, but we are business partners. See, I like that. Boy, say we business partners. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. We business partners. That's a good look. You know, a lot of time when uh, artists come to the table, but we've had some good examples now of artists who are businessmen, and when they come to the table in these yeah. situations, they're signing as partners. Yeah, 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 for sure. I had the luxuries of having some uh, some big homies around me that, that kind of, like, schooled me on the game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? As I was growing, like, way before the hit song, way before right. the Billboard charts, way before a deal, like, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? They was teaching sure. me, like, hey, when you get there, Pay attention to this. Don't get too much of this away. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't fall for just anything. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know a little bit of the game. I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. And right? then just watching some of the other examples, man. Um, exactly. E even, you know, and it sounds unbelievable to be saying this. Rest in peace, Nipsey. You know, like. Yeah, that's crazy. That's Man, yeah, like, yeah. I, I know you watch people like him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I, I'm I don't I don't know man I I feel like um at first when the story broke and it was so many just wild stuff on the internet I was like man one let's not pay attention to the internet because internet could say or do anything right but then as more details emerged I was like dang yeah I ain't believe it at first either when right. it first popped up on my phone it popped up on my phone like an alert from Google or something like from the from the internet or something I'm like bro this some fake news and I clicked on it I'm like nah this ain't real. Phone them started looking it up. They like, nah, it's real. He really got shot. I'm like, man. Kind of mess nigga head up, you know what I'm saying? Because Nip was one of them, one of them out the way niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he was minding his business, but he was actually doing something for his community and for his people, you know what right. I'm saying? That made sense. Mm. Like buying up the strip and, you know what I'm saying, uh, bringing back a little small business to his people's. Right. You know I'm saying all of that is is looked at. You feel me? I pay attention to all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it sad that we still gotta watch people that be around us? You know what I'm saying? Like, you would man, think. Man, we we humans though. You know what I'm saying? Like the crossover, like everybody hitting their brothers in the back, or or you ever being stabbed in your back before? Of you, course. You understand? Like that's the human way. That's been going on since. Since dynasty since, times, since Cain and Abel, like, right? You like, know what I'm saying? That's that's been going on, like you just said, since Cain and Abel. You know what I'm saying? That's prime example, uh, uh, how 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 this life can get. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta prepare for the worst. And then the craziest part is, bro, wasn't 
know where he wasn't supposed to be. Bro, was that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You in the land. Yeah. You in where you own most of this. So, I mean, man, like you just said, you got to you gotta prepare for the worst and just, you feel me, keep your head up, ass peeled. I think, um, you know, just um, the, the one thing that I took away from the situation, you know, a, a lot of people was focused on the BS. It's mm-hmm. a family that lost a father, uh, uh, a husband, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking at it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that 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 man changed thousands of people's life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He employed a lot of people. True. A lot of them had kids mm. and families at home, mm. you know what I'm saying? And all of that can go down the drain, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't know what the situation was. Yeah, no, I you know definitely know, know that his brother and his family had a lot to do with keeping things that's up and saying, going. So I think... Like, That'll be probably be sustained. I I just even looking online how much the streams have went up and people going to buy merch because they know he owned his music. So yeah. that goes to his family. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, in Chicago, uh, I know it's kind of active, and and, and I yeah. hadn't been seeing a lot in the news. But do you think stories like this help curb the violence, or is it's just going? Yeah, we get stories like like that every day in Chicago. You know what I'm saying mm. like you get alert on your phone randomly thirty. Three folks just got shot on Memorial Day weekend. You know what I'm saying? It was more than that. Like, 70-something people got killed on Memorial Day weekend. Why is it like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean... Because not to say that it don't happen. I'm not going to lie and tell you, Houston don't... Yeah. Houston is... is A lot of of the major cities is like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. You know what I'm saying? But from, from my city and from me paying attention, it's really just ignorance... Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ignorance is, is one of the keys, and poverty is another one of the mm. keys. You know what I'm saying? Not having. You know what I'm saying? You see how you shining, you got that on your neck. Somebody somebody right now that ain't got no food on his plate ready mm. to take you out of this. You mm. feel me? Just go pawn that on your neck. Right. You know what I'm saying? And people don't think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? The 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 uh, authorities don't think about it like that. Everybody just beasts and monsters to everybody, but don't nobody understand, like, these folks really going through something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of that 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 uh, gang war and that drug war stuff mm-hmm. start because somebody is knocking somebody else's hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to put some food on, on somebody's plate. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you on my corner, you ain't supposed to be here, you taking food, food out of my, my mouth. Food. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going mm. on a lot of the times. Like, niggas is trying to eat. They trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where a lot of probably the murder come from. And then the rest be on some, you know what I'm saying? It's our generation, fried too. You know what I'm saying? We don't watch the internet. Like, we in an era where the internet is is reality when it's not. You know what I'm saying? So right. a lot of y- young folks, I know a lot of my peers watch these internet folks and, and see how ignorant they acting. You feel me? You're not even from that. How you acting like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's a lot of that going on too, so... Them three keys mixed into one is... is uh, it's going to be a problem. It's, it's an issue. I think um, a lot of it just comes with... Uh, and, and, you know, I'm a realist. I don't blame music. You know, a lot of people try to blame music. But like Damn. I tell people... That's why I, I mean, say the internet. People, movies, it's billion-dollar movies where they killing all kind of people. Nobody ever say, hey, bro, I watched that movie and it made me go out here and smoke <laughs> some folk. So why would right. they try to put that rap on music? And then not just right. any music, on our music. You know, <laughs> they'll wait for our music and be like, oh, it's... Then you got... Half the rock music with the same subject matter. Exactly. We you know drugged saying? up. And, and uh, a person like me, no, because I listen to alternatives. You know what I'm saying? I listen to all type of music. You listen to alternatives? I promise you I listen to alternatives. Man, give me two alternative groups right now. All American Rejects, Coldplay, okay. Green Bay, Paramore. You feel me? Oh, I you listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I listen to a lot of different type of music. So y'all exactly. buzz one song might be traveling the next one we also <laughs> What about No, 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 I don't make that type of music. No, I know you don't, but just listening to it. I just get the vibes, you know what I'm saying? Country? I just, no, I don't listen to too okay, much. Okay, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I like one country song. And the only country song I like is that old town road. The little homie, um, Lil Nas X, the little black dude that made the record. They tried uh, to take wh- him off wh- the country hey, billboard. I was just listening to I was just listening to the the old dude that made Skinny Love. What's his name? Skinny love. Not Leon Bridges. The white dude with the glasses. Look, we looking. Yeah, look it up. He old, old, though. Von Iver. Yeah, Von Iver. 
Bon Iver, God dog. I was just listening to his, all of his old tracks, you feel me? And it really gave me a uh, nigga some inspiration on making some new tracks, so you feel me? Real music and real inspiration, especially from music, because at the core, music is about touching you in your soul. You yeah, know that's what I'm why saying? I say it's like, it's in me to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's in me to listen to all aspects of, of life. You know what I'm saying? We went for alternative song, bro. You got to go and drop one just at the 808 up under the thing <laughs> one time. I don't know. You know what you I'm know, saying? Just, just one time. Just. That, that, that's out of my comfort zone, but I definitely uh, listen, you know what I'm saying, get some inspiration, get some vibes from it. I'm going to remember one day when you drop it, I'm calling the team and saying, man, I told bro to do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let's do it, man. Um, Envy Me right now. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, just how you made the record, how you got into this song. Man, man, Envy Me. It was like the end of a long journey. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I, I had just left Chicago, stayed in Cali for like three months, mm -hmm. doing 12-hour sessions every day, literally. Mm. Every day. You feel me? Like, even if I didn't use the whole 12, I was going to sleep, waking up, getting back in there. You know what I'm saying? Working. I ain't had nothing. I'm saying I, I knew I ain't want to do nothing else. You feel me? We did a little trap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody do that, though. That's regular. So, uh... I really just drilled in the studio, and like right before we came back to Chicago for his birthday party, we was coming back to Chicago for his birthday party. Right, I had made that song. That was the last song that night. I'm saying I wasn't even gonna make it because the beat was too hard. I'm like, man, I can't catch the beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm half sleep. That's why the song started off like, now I lay me down to sleep. I'm literally half sleep recording. Oh, you know true story. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I thought you was in the in the in the zone. He was like, nah, bro, I was really. Laying down, I was, Nigga, I was tired, you know what I'm saying? So I did that. You know, freestyle the rest of the song. I freestyle, I don't write nothing down. I just spit that on out. And he put it on his birthday flyer for the party. And that's how I got the momentum. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, what's the name of that song on the flyer? What's the name of that song? So we gave about a week or so, we dropped the song. And it already had the momentum because everybody was looking for it in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So... I start seeing NFL players making highlight reels. <laughs> yeah. and... I just seen Draymond Green do one. He just did a highlight. So, I saw that normally, <coughs> so, so for me being one of the top DJs in the market, you can't really pull one over on me. So what I do is I look at timelines. So if I see some three or four times on different people's timelines, I'll be like, oh, this must be something that's finna go because there's right. too many people that's on that energy, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They don't be from Chicago. So it was from people all over. Right. Uh, Saquon Barkley, uh, the little the running back from New York. I think when I seen him do it, I was like, okay. I think I seen that one too. I reposted that then. You reposted that one. Yeah. For and sure. so when Forty had brought it up and was like, hey, bro, I'm telling you, 147 yeah. Cowboy, you better uh, you better check, you better get on. Bro. I was like, let me. Let me check and see. <laughs> and definitely, man, it was a, a great look. So right now, let's go ahead and introduce the song. Take off, man. I, I want you to introduce it for the first time in Houston. I need you. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. It's Cowboy the Wild Boy checking in. It's the hottest single in the world right now. You feel me? Envy me. <laughs> 